It's the first week of spring and it's flipping cold out. Whew. Much too cold to see these corn seeds right into my garden. But it's almost April and I want to be eating corn in June at the latest. Thankfully, we seeded these little beauties about two weeks ago and they're ready to move on. So let's get these guys into the next stage of pots and set them up for a successful transition into my spring garden. For most of my seedling plugs, the next size pot they are destined for is the 4 inch vacuum molded standard nursery pots. They fit 18 to a tray and they're just an ideal size both for space and for plant growth at this stage. I begin by filling the pots level right to the top with a quality organic potting mix. Next I compress that soil about 25% to eliminate any air gaps and then top it off again with that same mix. We're almost ready to pot. Lastly, we need to soak these guys with about two liters of warm water for around two hours. After the pots have absorbed all the standing water, take a large screwdriver handle and in the center of your pots, make a hole slightly larger than the size of your plugs. Pry out your first plug with the flathead end of a screwdriver, being extra careful not to tug on that stem. Observing these guys, corn has a great root system. I simply don't understand why it has this reputation as a poor transplanter. I just don't see it. Place your plug in one of the holes that you've made, pressing it down firmly on the soil part, not on the plant itself. Potting these guys up goes fast. Even working slowly and methodically, it should take you less than 10 minutes to finish an entire tray. It's hard to believe that these little blades of grass will grow to become behemoth plants this summer. As we said before, corn is historically a poor transplanter. We'll keep a close eye on these guys and how they perform, but I feel like we've babied them enough that they'll be just fine. We'll revisit these corn plants in about two to three weeks, but for now, we'll set them up in ideal greenhouse conditions to let them fully settle in to their new pots. Next up for this corn series in video number three, we'll focus on prepping that section of the garden that these guys are gonna go into in the spring and focus on how we set them up for maximum yield this summer. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons. If you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.